13 WMAZ meteorologist Alex Forbes here with you on this Sunday evening. You're looking live over downtown Macon from Atrium Health Navicent. Current temperature in Bibb County, 73 degrees with a wind out of the east northeast at about 5 miles an hour. Take a look at temperatures across the area in the low to mid 70s, 74 Montezuma, Unadilla, as well as in Cochrane and in Eastman, 72 in Gordon right now, as well as in Monticello and in Forsyth. Still hanging on to 75 down in Sumter County. Live radar quiet once you get east to 75, once you get west to 75. Still looking at some showers, especially northern Upson County, moving into Pike and Lamar here in the next few minutes. Also a pretty good downpour moving into Americus. That could find its way into Taylor and Macon County here through the next little bit, but the models have been consistent on showing waves of rain through central Georgia tonight, so we'll be taking a look at that on future view here in just a moment. But you don't need me to tell you it's a tropical atmosphere across the southeast. You just look at the radar and you can see it with temperatures in the 70s. So here's what I was talking about. As we get into tomorrow morning, could see some more showers lift from south to north up 75, and then through the afternoon, we're going to see a rainy pattern, a brief heavy downpour at times and expect some drizzle through the afternoon hours as temperatures make it up into the low 80s. Then by the time it's time to go home from work, from school, still looking at some showers across the area and then again into Monday evening again, some brief heavy downpours possible across central Georgia. By week, the time we get to Tuesday morning, clearing out a little bit here in central Georgia, so looking at probably some cloud cover, but then again, Tuesday afternoon, here we go with some scattered showers across the area and it's going to stay that way until at least Wednesday afternoon when we get a cold front through here. And yes, that front going to bring with it a taste of fall. So clearing out our skies, dropping our temperatures you'll see here in just a moment. It's also going to be dropping our dew points, which means the air is going to be significantly drier outside. We're talking about dew points in the 50s and 40s by the time we get to Thursday and to Friday. Also talking about overnight lows in the 50s Thursday morning, waking up at 57 degrees and then Friday morning 54 degrees. We could even see some upper 40s in northern Georgia. Now we do now have two tropical storms in the Atlantic. Good news about both of them. They're not really going to affect any land. Here's Peter not too far from the Lesser Antilles going to make its way just to the east of the Turks and Caicos and stay away from the United States. We also now have Rose closer to Africa and the good news about Rose is that it's got a northwest motion at 60 miles an hour. So there it goes into the central Atlantic. Not going to be a concern for us and the United States. Now we've got two more waves that we're watching. Nothing significant with them right now. The next names on the list are Sam and Teresa. And then yeah, there's only two more left after that. So we might make it to the backup list this year in the Atlantic Basin. As for tonight, we're headed for an overnight low of 71 degrees on and off showers throughout the region. A humid evening sunset tonight at 735. Then for tomorrow, a high temperature of about 81. And as you just saw on future view on and off showers and storms some brief heavy downpours at times sunrise is at at 721. Here's your seven day forecast. An 80% chance of rain on Wednesday as that front rolls through. That also happens to be the first day of fall. That front bringing some fall weather with it. Overnight lows in the 50s, high temperatures in the upper 70s until Sunday getting up to 81 degrees. Now Connor falls starting soon. That means we're getting close to October or should I say Choptober? Oh, indeed, Alex. Cooler temperatures meaning postseason baseball right around the corner. 